Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rockery Russell Siegel, the wallpaper artist, wallpaper hanger, and store. I'm here in beautiful Rockery Beach over here. The beach, the waves, and everything like that. The King Bees coming up right now, and it's windy. I just want to express, uh, you know, new beginnings, uh, a happy new year, healthy new year, uh, to all my Jewish friends, and it's a big and and all to my non-Jewish friends because the new year is for everyone. You know, so just wanted to talk about how grateful I am uh, and what I have, especially my health, especially what I do. Amazing new things coming uh, coming out of me as far as um, uh, wallpaper and uh, besides the uh, uh, documentary film, uh, uh, my friend Lil Lynn and, and myself are doing, and uh, plus uh, I'm going to be producing a mural uh, myself. has always been my goal for the past uh, four or five years and I want to do it on the beach and that's and on my phone I have a picture of the beach uh, and coming out here is so beautiful it's healthy I moved out here over two years ago during uh, uh, the pandemic and it's the best type of living for me and how I evolved and grown as a human being and um, the people that I met, it's all community and family, and, um, and I, we have this Jewish word called Rashid. Rashid means meant to be. So it was meant for me to be out here. I love what I do. I am third generation um, wallpaper hanger artist. And, uh, you know, it's like in the beginning it was rough and everything like that. There's many things that are going to come in the interviews and everything like that. And you will learn about myself, how I came to this uh, part of my career. I'm third generation, I'm doing this for almost 45 years, even though I'm 36, reverse time, I'm 63. <laughs> um, it's all about how I do things and uh, uh, being active, and um, I can keep up with the best of them. Um, what I mean by that is that. Uh, I can keep up and do things that I can, uh, and plus, seriously, I over exceeded expectations of my life. And I'm just going to go up and up and up. But, you know, um, you know I love working. I love uh, installing wallpaper art, regardless of what it is, you know, and uh, because I'm creating. I'm creating all the time. I'm thinking all the time how to make the jobs better and better and better and improve. And they'll make it a piece of art, you know. And that's uh, I'm very blessed, very blessed that I have these hands. You know, uh, I've done a lot of things with uh, these hands, and I hung up wallpaper to go down to Washington D.C. over my career. Now um, I've always been creating uh, throughout my life. I was in the wallpaper union for 43 years. I had my own business for the past 15, 20 years. The wallpaper uh, union, I, I feel very grateful uh, to the union because it gave me everything that I have now with my pension and social security and, uh, and we did a lot of nice work. Uh, as far as working for the union, 9-11, uh, passed a, a few days ago and um, you know um, I worked in the World Trade Center six days prior to 9-11 uh, I lost seven Union brothers and um, you know it was, uh, it was difficult and I had uh, some friends who uh, who did escape who did get out thank God um, that's the story for another time um, but you know, um, the company who I work for, 
which I won't mention names, it was uh, the third largest company in America, and we did about 60 to 70 million dollars worth of work. Uh, we did the World Trade Center from ground up. We did uh, we did a lot of Fortune 500 companies, a lot of um, um, hotels, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, you know, big stores, and uh, and I learned from like about eight or nine good craftsmen who taught me the trade. Um, I'm learning all the time, you know, even though um, one of the best of what I do, I always learn and I want to grow and that's the that's part of life because I don't know everything. I know a lot and I, I, I know how to do things um, like that, but uh, there's always a lot to learn, you know, so, you know, because you can never take things, I don't take things for granted. And uh, about, let me tell you about wallpaper. Wallpaper is the easy part to, uh, to, to go off. It's the preparation under the wallpaper. And I'm talking about life, um, my friends. Wall, uh, preparation, if we don't prepare things the right way, then uh, when we get to the next level, it, it doesn't go well. And with wallpaper, the walls have to be perfect. Um, the priming and, uh, and preparation of the walls. That's what, uh, and we don't do that. Uh, it's not good. As far as as far as uh, the wallpaper table, I have a wallpaper table. It's like three by five, five by five, depending on the size of the wallpaper that um, that I do. Um, if I don't do it right on the wallpaper table, it's like seventy. Uh, it's like seventy-five percent of the job. That's preparation. If I don't cut the wallpaper right. things to do that we have uh, that I have to do and um, so you know it's all about preparation you know and it's, uh, and it's like um, you know I, I don't know how religious people are but you know you talk about uh, preparation for the next world it's about to me yeah it's about doing good deeds in many ways like mitzvahs um, as we call them and uh, Everything comes from my heart. I mean, um, I was married. I mean, I was. I was saying I was married three times, and my wife, uh, my last wife Denise, passed away almost ten years ago, and I took care of her. You know, and um, I married her when she was ill. She had metastatic breast cancer, and what happened? Uh, I didn't know she, she was going to pass away. Uh, friends came up to me and they said, "Russell, you're going to have a place in the next world always." I really don't care about that, you know. I did it because uh, I loved her. Uh, Denise will always be in my heart. Uh, January will be 10 years since she passed away. Since she passed away, my life has uh, really, I've been blessed, you know. And she, uh, that's what Denise wanted for me. Uh, Denise told me prior to her death, two months prior to her death, she said, Russell, just take care of yourself. Be happy, be receptive. Uh, some kind of sort of happiness, regardless of uh, how your day is, uh, how your day is, because um, you're living. I'm living. As long as we're living, there's always hope. There's a, uh, um, you know, there's always hope, and um, and we can always do better. And uh, and, and especially uh, if we have our help. Um, I have some things uh, naturally, but you know, uh, we all have things. But basically, if we have our help, we have it. Um, but getting back to uh, uh, the union and everything like that, I um, I was very uh, fortunate to be in the union, and um, and with the union, the, there's a lot of old work, uh, you know, you know, do as much as you can, and that's on the, on the creative side. So I started my business about 15, 20 years ago. I always done private work, but 15, 20 years ago, my creative juices started to become and the past uh, uh, 10 years, um, you know, since uh, Denise passed away, you know, naturally I wish Denise was not uh, here, was here, but she, she's not, but she sees me from up there and she's very happy, you know, and I go and see Denise every, uh, about two, three times a year, and um, 
I promised uh, everything, and uh, and I did about 90% of everything that you wanted. I said, I just need to find romance now.